Probably something else that was a single for for Def Jux Two, and then uh, singles. Same as it never was. Oh, true. So yeah, what? that's right. Yeah. Same as it never yep. was. Same as it never was. It you had know what? Murs on the other side. Yes, that one did it had the Murs and, and Mr. Lift single on the B side to that, that's which one. was the only beat that L ever had me mix. Um, that was a two track beat because he lost the original file, <laughs> and I had to run that entire beat through the Avalon. And I always listen to that and I think, man, this is like an example of less is more in mixing because like that's one of the cleanest beats and all I did was run <laughs> it through the Avalon and tweak it through the analog compressor and uh, an EQ and um, and ended up with that beat. But you know what, while we're while we're on the subject, you know, unless anybody else has anything to add on this single, um, you know, as well, and we can go back to it, but talk about um, Same As It Never Was for a second, since that kind of ties in that was that was before we recorded that before right this single yes we recorded that before the single yeah and um yep. i mean it's funny like to me that was another one of my favorite songs to mix i loved mixing that song i did all kinds of crazy tricks on that and like you know tried to make it as big and powerful as i possibly could and um you know if i remember right you let off on that track and that song um really ties into this single for me because it was around the same time period do you feel it ties in for me too yeah do you feel a similar way about that like because it was all well, when i spoke to same period. i had spoke to l on the phone and he actually wanted to put that song on the b side oh the paper mache oh wow wow but i explained to him i didn't want my debut single to be full of people Word, word, yeah. Yeah, you know no, I, so he wanted, I he wanted to put Same As It Never Was on the B-side, but wow, I, I, didn't I didn't want know that. my first debut single to be full of people. Yeah. I want to kind of just show what I can kind of do, and then we can go you yeah. know, full steam with full of people. That makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't know that, but that, that would make sense that he would say, because those beats kind of fit each other, yeah, mm -hmm. aside from the aside from all the, the cameos. Same but, as uh, it never was was almost a Masai Bay song and not <laughs> weather moon song. <laughs> that explain that explains though, because I always see saw it that way, you know, because the way you set it off and the way that you fit on that beat, it reminded me of paper mache and the way that you fit on those beats. So like it 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 does feel like I think of you when I think of that song. So it does make sense that that would fit on that. Um I had another question. Let me try to think of it. Yeah. Take it, Fuse. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm, I, I, back to you. <laughs> back normally, to you, sir. Normally, I'm very talkative. I'm just sitting here fanboying out. This is really cool to me. Stop it. I got some nuggets. I got some nuggets that I had no idea about. So, you know, I, so this is really cool for me to get you know your perspective on on these things because obviously you know i've known nasa for a number of years so, you know him and i have spoken about those days pretty frequently and yeah. you know i've gotten some stories here and there so it's cool to get a different perspective on all this and uh for him to hear stuff that he didn't even know so yeah that, that's, no, that's, that's cool for me to hear stuff that i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> 